Hi, today I'm going to talk about one way I teach sorting by attributes to my students. So I've talked about sorting by color. This is sorting by size. So I have some objects here that are different sizes, three different sizes. Specifically, we talk about small, medium, and large. So there's a small present, a medium present, and a large present. I also have two kinds of sorting mats, but you don't even really need a sorting mat at all. Um, I have this sorting mat, which is just some circles on a piece of paper. And then I have another sorting mat that kind of has a visual guide for those students that might need more assistance. So I have a large, a medium, and a small section uh, sectioned out for them. And so what you're going to do is you do the same thing. You're, you're going to get your objects, whatever they are, and you're going to put them in it. Um, in a section have the kids sit around and say so I have these objects here my presence and I want to sort them but I'm not quite sure how to sort them and so what you're trying to do is stimulate some discussion and problem solving with your students so some students if they already have the color sorting skill might say oh well you're gonna put all the same color here and this color here and put the green one here and the silver here and they can sort it by way and th that way and that's absolutely fine but then you're going to say, that's right, I can sort them by color, but I want to sort them a different way. So now they're really having to think of a different way to sort those objects. And then eventually they'll get to the point where they'll say, well, I'll put all the same sizes together. Like these two are big ones over here. I'm going to put them over here. And these two are medium and these two are small. I'm going to put them over here. And so then have them explain to you why they did that because they're the same size. So then the activity you can have your students do is just have a mat, give them a handful of objects, and then have them sort them by size, large, medium, and small. So they would put the larges in the section for large, medium, and medium, and small, and small. And all you want to do is have them explain to you why they sorted them that way. And that's how you sort by attributes. Thanks.